hopefully I'm not filling the speaker right now. Uh, we are going to start boarding soon in like seven minutes. So, see you guys soon. my first trip it was it was crazy I was almost late because my flight I was deadheaded to Miami you guys know how much I hate that so um, I got to Miami late because we were delayed we didn't have a first officer by the time we like got there I probably had like 10 minutes to get to my gate and it was far like super far I probably walked a mile and a half to get to my gate um, they gave me like five minutes to pre-flight my plane because they were already sending passengers but the flight was pretty good um, I had great passengers I haven't had any crazy stories yet um, I went to Columbus Ohio and we got in pretty late so I just I went to eat and then I went to sleep and the next day was crazy too I woke up and I just, crew scheduling called and they were like oh your flight was canceled so I'm like okay that's not fun I really wanted to work another one so I was sad she so she said she's gonna deadhead me back to LaGuardia she calls me back like five minutes later she's like JK we have a flight for you so I was happy it left later that evening so um I called the front desk and I asked them I'm like hey um, we got pushed to a later flight. She's like, okay, yeah, no problem. Your van time is 5.50. 5.50. Five okay, guys? 5.50 p.m. I kid you not, this is what she said. I said it back to her to confirm. 5.50, okay? So, around 5 o'clock, you guys will see the clip where I wanted to show you, like, how the process I go through with getting dressed and everything. And you'll see that I just abruptly stopped because I get a call at 5 o'clock. And it's the same girl. She's like, hey, your captain was wondering if you're going to come down for the van. I was like, um, I have, like, 50 minutes. Is everything okay? She's like, I know I told you earlier 5.50, but it's really 5.15. I was, uh, in my most polite voice, I didn't even think I said anything. I think I hung up, actually. I think I hung up and just, like, went into speed, like, getting dressed. And somehow, I made it to my van on time, exactly at 5.15. Um, get to the airport, and then our flight's delayed. Yeah, I think it got delayed by maybe, like, an hour or two, because there was bad weather back to New York. So, I was like... Yay! I just got Starbucks and I just sat and as a flight attendant, you just, you realize like so, you realize everything at that point. I remember just being, sorry, sidebar story, I, sorry I'm everywhere. I just remember um, flying before and um, we had a delay and I just asked so many questions and I didn't even care. If I saw you in uniform, I would just ask you and I realized that now it's just like, I'm not a gate agent, I'm your flight attendant. I know just as much as you right now. My gate agent is working on it, but we are really trying. So that was just pretty much my response towards everything because they were just super uneasy. They didn't know if it was gonna be canceled, stuff like that. A lot of the people from the first flight that I was supposed to work got pushed onto this flight. 
So that happened. And when the weather was finally clear and we got the all clear, we couldn't get our plane to our gate. Um, where it was stuck was a jet bridge had broken earlier. So no one could get on the plane to taxi it over to our gate. So then we started waiting on that. So that delayed it a bit more. It finally came over to us. Um, I had a little bit more time to pre-flight the plane and everything. And it was just such a smooth flight. Like um, on my first flight, I may have forgotten maybe like one PA. Um, but other than that, I was very shocked <laughs> at how much I knew. And it's just... Never like second guess yourself. You know more than you think you do. And that was just my experience. Um, the only problems that I had was just like the delays and everything. Other than that, it was it was really great. I haven't flown since then. That was the 21st. So, and today is the 30th. So I'm just like, I'm so flight hungry right now. Like I just wanna fly. And I want to work the flight though. Like I, I want to save like vacation and everything for later. Right now, I just want to fly and just get my time in and everything. But you guys have been asking me a lot, like how's commuting, how's it working out for me. So I definitely wanted to talk to you guys about that. So if you don't know what commuting is, commuting is when you don't live where you're based. Like myself, I live in Florida and I'm based in LaGuardia, and you travel back and forth between the two. And it's not meant for everyone, so this isn't something that, you know, I recommend or anything in particular. It's just, it's easier for me, and I don't want to live in New York. So, yeah, so um, with commuting, I always go in the day before my assignment. I never try the day of. It would just be too much. So, um, if I'm scheduled, like, for instance, I'm scheduled to be on airport standby on the 2nd. I would go back on the 1st of June and I'd start from the morning just to make sure because you never know what can happen with the flights being oversold or they're just, you know, just not being enough seats. It's just to the full capacity. I always definitely try the day before early in the morning. Um, I always pack for how many days I'm going to be on reserve and of course I pack for any weather conditions because you just don't know where you're gonna go on reserve so um, I'm going to be on airport standby for the for the second third fourth fifth six I think for the next five days so I pack five days worth of clothes and I always pack two or three different uniform pieces but you just have really have to make sure that um you're packing super light that's the key so i always pack my dress because that's my favorite piece and i pack um one pair of pants and a long sleeve shirt and a short sleeve shirt and then my scarf and my cardigan and that's it for my uniform pieces and as far as clothes i try to make sure that I can get multiple outfits from pretty much the same pieces so I'll pack like one or two pairs of jeans but then I'll pack like six shirts and maybe like a dress or two if I'm up for it not really uh I think I love my dress like for my uniform I think I look really great in it but just wearing dresses otherwise no I don't like it so I um sorry I'm like holding it today because I'm in my living room I didn't want to move um yeah so that's what I usually do and then another thing about commuting is you have to have somewhere to stay in the meantime when you're at your base um which is another reason why this isn't really meant for a lot of people because I'm fortunate enough where I don't own my own place in Florida. I live with my mom, so I won't be paying rent in two places. In two places. So my crash pad in New York, um, I stay there for the days that I'm there. And then when I come back home, I just stay with my mom. So if you're someone who 
live somewhere, you own a home and you're based like somewhere else, it's going to be really difficult for you because essentially you're most likely going to be paying rent in two places because when you first get hired, you're so junior that you can't get home on the same day and then back the next day. And it's really a lot on your body and I don't recommend it. So you have to be at your base for when you're on reserve. So you definitely want to think about that as far as commuting because you have to be willing to make that sacrifice. So yes, yeah. so then I would yeah, I'm go to New York. I would be in my crash pad waiting to be called. I'm going to be on airport standby for all of June. Yay. <laughs> so I will be in the airport all of the time. And then on my off days, um, my last day on reserve prior to my off days, I get to actually preference for something that I want to do other than airport standby. Um, but most likely I'm going to get the reserve period that's in the afternoon simply because they can't put me on the early morning since my reserve ends so late the day before. I know it sounds confusing now, but it's just like when you get into training and everything, you'll figure it out and you'll understand like, oh, hey, that's what she was trying to say because I was watching YouTube videos before training, before I was a flight attendant, and I was, it was just gibberish. I didn't understand it at all. So um, if you want to commute, definitely think about how much it's going to be because you don't really live in one certain place. I feel like I don't really have a home because I'm just, I'm always somewhere else between going to Minnesota to visit my boyfriend and being in New York when I'm on reserve and then coming home to see my mom and my sister and the rest of my family. You just, you're kind of everywhere. So it's ideal for you to get based where you live, but the chances of that is highly unlikely. Like I got lucky with um, recently because they just released an announcement for my company that we open up my, our Miami base again. So I've been thinking about that. You guys know how much I hate Miami. I don't know. I just, I really don't know if I wanna come back to Florida. I, I just, it'll be much easier. I won't have to commute. I would save tons of money because I wouldn't have to get a crash pad. I'd just be living here with my mom. But I live maybe an hour and a half, an hour 40 minutes from Miami. And I'm sure they're only gonna give the Miami base a two hour call out. So when they call me, I pretty much have to be dressed already and make sure that I'm headed there. So if I don't plan on moving closer, then I gotta figure something out. But that's definitely the latest thing is if you guys have any advice for me as for what I should do, please tell me because I I love New York. I want to be there. It's just, I know the commuting thing is going to take a toll on me, but I want you guys to definitely think about if you want to commute. It's a really huge thing. I per personally don't care if I'm a commuter for life. Um, but I'm young right now, so that'll probably change. I know it most likely will. But you really have to be prepared to be based anywhere. And if you're going to commute, you have to be prepared for strategically just planning everything. Because you can't just wing it and stay home when you're on reserve because you didn't get a flight back to your base. So definitely think about that. If you guys have any questions about commuting, you can always ask me. I will always answer you guys' questions, but I don't have a problem commuting. I don't think I will for a while. Um, I definitely suggest when it gets towards winter time where there could be like a lot of weather issues and everything that could prevent you from getting to your base, I definitely suggest that you stay where you're based and yeah that's really it on the commuting thing if you guys have more questions then you can definitely email me or dm me um yes
So that is a mini update with some commuting details. I will, I just wanted to make sure I talked with you guys so you guys can still like see that, hey, I'm here. I'm going to be uploading another video before the end of the week. I haven't decided the subject it's going to be on. If you guys have any suggestions, definitely let me know. I'm open to hear all of them. So I'm going to go ahead and upload this video for you guys. And I will travel with you soon. <laughs>